Hey everybody, this is Lord Blade Raid from Saber Forum, and I'm here to talk to you about an amazing saber I just got. I am thrilled with this saber. I love this. Uh, I got this as a raffle entry. I entered the spring 2017 raffle with Ultra Sabers, so this is one of my raffle entries. And I just got this last night, and I did an unboxing. I didn't even do a video on it because I just wanted to just connect with the saber. Um, this is one of those things that uh, I have, this is one of those sabers I've been looking at uh, for a long time now and um, no one is surprised more than me that I would end up getting myself a Crimson Scorpion than the uh, Black Scorpion uh, version. So I'm really delighted uh, by the finish on this saber. Uh, this is a satiny sort of crimson finish. It feels fantastic in the hands. Um, I am just delighted with this thing. This, this is just incredibly uh, comfortable to wield and um, it also has the diamond board in it. So uh, this has got the new uh, tech from uh, Ultra Sabers. Uh, shout out to Ultra Sabers for making this as just such a beautiful work of art. This, uh, what a combat saber as well that this is. Uh, this, I mean, look at this thing. It's just beautiful. I mean, the, the craftsmanship is unparalleled. Um, and I am delighted. <laughs> I have said this a couple times now, but I really, really like this saber. Um, this one is a, uh, again, it's the Crimson Scorpion, but the, uh, the finish that I got is, is just phenomenal. This has the diamond RGBW board in it, so red, green, blue, and white uh, to make colors. My primary color I chose was Adigan Silver, and uh, that is one of 10 different colors that you can switch to on the fly by flicking your wrist to the right. Uh, they give you a really nice uh, printed in color, no less, uh, for the different blade colors uh, that you can change to. So you get a, you get a, you know, a, a reference here just to see what, you know, what uh, colors are on there by default. You can plug this saber in like you could with the emerald or the regular obsidian premium sound uh, non-emerald uh, sabers. Uh, this one uses now a micro USB, so a bit smaller, but it's still, it's still, uh, still just in, uh, remove this hilt. And, or sorry, this pommel from the hilt, and uh, out the bottom will come the the emerald board. And the emerald board is a mite bit skinnier than the other, than the uh, sorry, the diamond board is a bit skinnier than the emerald board because you don't have the two uh, the two layers. You have the obsidian and the emerald before we're stacked on each other. So this was quite a bundle that would come out. And this, this actually is, is very lean. You've got a little micro USB port. This is where you would plug that cable into your computer to connect your saber and configure it with the software. So uh, it's very, uh, very sleek, very uh, slim, and uh, just a welcome, welcome uh, new tech from Ultra Sabers. It's incredibly beautiful. And while I've got the pommel off, I will just, say that I also picked up another pommel from uh, Ultra Sabers, the Renegade LE pommel, small. Uh, I got that to try out on my, on my Scorpion. So I've got that here. I'm going to give that a look. So that's, that looks pretty good, I think. That's, uh, that is the Renegade LE pommel on the, on the Scorpion, on the Crimson Scorpion. So uh, very, very nice uh, finish to that, to, to the silver, two-tone look with the crimson and the silver. So very nice I still like the the, the crimson uh, pommel as well. Um, still just beautiful, um, and, and how it's two piece, 
So this, these, these two come apart. Um, just beautiful. I love it. And uh, so this is a diamond board. So I'll show you, uh, oh, I forgot to mention a couple other things that I did get on this. Uh, first of all, the claw. Uh, I could not overlook getting this scorpion with the claw. Um, the dimples on this as well just really drew my attention. So it's something that I definitely uh, had to have with this saber. So um, many have it without the claw and, uh, and it's got an amazing emitter already with uh, the dual windows. So it's kind of like a, a double threat here, but then with the claw, I feel like it's a triple threat. It's just, it really adds to the you know, to the overall impression the Sabre gives. And, and to be honest, it doesn't get in my way at all. I, I did another review with the Mantis, also with the claws that I got, and the claw doesn't bother me at all. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just not something I even worry about. So very, uh, very nice, very, very hefty, but uh, for me, not, uh, not hefty enough, or not too hefty at all. Uh, I have larger hands, so that's part of it, but uh, I really love the accent of the grip of the choke point here, this neck with the high polished aluminum. Uh, when you grip it here, it feels fantastically sure. I mean, this is a sure place to hold this saber, and um, if you're going to do one handed dueling, this. This here is, is like, it, it reminds me of the Sentinel's grip because the Sentinel also has a couple of, of uh, choke points and uh, the top one on there is as well is, is just one of those choke points where you, your hand just feels so comfortable and at home in that spot. Um, the, the rib section here um, is, is very uh, welcoming to the hand and very comfortable. You don't feel like your hand's going to get cut or, or scraped or anything uh, if you're doing a lot of dueling. Uh, it's just a very, uh, it's, a, it's a choke point that you trust. So, you know, I really trust how that feels. I mean, it's just, it's very, it's kind of a guarded place to put your hand. And then down here, equally, the ribs here is also just an amazing grip. So the, the two-handed grip on this is, uh, is, is just fantastic. The one-handed grip, you know, it's heavy. I'm not gonna lie, it is heavy, heavier than I'm, you know, than some of the other hilts. But with that choke point, you're you're good. That that saber is not gonna come flying out of your hand uh, for for anything. So um, it's uh, very comfortable. And with the diamond board, I'll go through real quick on that. Uh, I got my. Uh, my saber with the RGBW, uh, red, green, blue, and white LED. And uh, I got a, an illuminated blue AV switch. Uh, my theme for this actually was kind of a patriotic theme, red, white, and blue, Captain America style. That's when I chose my blade color and my AV switch. I love, first of all, I love the contrast of blues and reds uh, on, on sabers. So to have that, one thing I really wanted to help or, or to, uh, I guess, influence on the saber is I wanted to really make this red pop um, really kind of stand out. And so I, I considered a lot of different AV switches colors, uh, one of which was white, uh, another one was red, um, and of course others that I've never tried before are uh, yellow and orange. I have another one in green, but I really wanted it to pop and I, I felt like what better way to make the red just really just kind of jump off, you know, the red color to really jump out at you then to choose a color that is nearly its opposite. Um, um, or at least it's it's on the other end of the scale, so it, it really contrasts. So the blue with the red, I think, looks really good. Um, for me personally, it makes it. I mean, I, the white would have been lovely as well, but uh, I, I think the white would have kind of rushed it out a little bit maybe. I don't know. I really like the way that blue just kind of says, hey, you know, it just kind of like draws attention to the color of this hill. 
to change colors on this, you just do a flick of the wrist to the right twice while holding the AV switch down. Like this. Welcome to the dining and then you get the menu. And she'll tell you what to do. That's silent. That's obsidian. Black star. Black star is yellow. Sith font is that. That's the Sith font. So let's look at red. Font selection is confirmed. And so that's just pushing the AV switch for a couple seconds to confirm you want that font to, uh, to load. So there's the red. And uh, I have, again, this is a, this is a heavy grade ultra edge blade. So uh, in a bright little room, it's, it's a little uh, less bright than it would be I mean, I have a lot of daylight coming in, but uh, down here in this section, you can really appreciate the, uh, the windows and the AV switch. I mean, it's just fantastic. And then one other thing I noticed on the diving board is you do have to press and hold this for almost twice as long as the emerald or the non-emerald boards with obsidian sound. Um, so instead of just a couple seconds, takes like three, four seconds. Uh, you'll notice too that it does kind of a fade out and that's the, the gradual power on and the gradual power off. Again, you could, I haven't played with any of these settings yet in the um, software, but it's something I tend to experiment with um, to power on gradually. And so when you turn it on, it doesn't come on and just go all at once. It, it, it kind of kind of, roll, it kind of ramps up. And again, you'll notice how long it took me to power that off, three or four seconds. Last night, um, I was playing around with the uh, with my first saver, the Mantis, my first diamond saver, and I didn't think it was gonna turn off. I uh, pushed and held it the, the, the usual two seconds and it wouldn't turn off. And I thought, oh no, it's miswired or something happened with the wiring, maybe, uh, I don't know. I mean, all these different cockamamie ideas went through my mind and uh, didn't realize it actually just takes a longer press to turn it off. Here's a comparison. Uh, this is a uh, Guardian with Obsidian V4 sound. And uh, if I want to turn it off, it's one, two. So it's barely, barely even two seconds. Uh, versus this. One, two, three, four. So it's it's definitely twice as long, which is no big deal, what all, but you know, as long as you know. So any of you getting diamond savers, be sure to realize that, that it takes a longer press to turn it off. Um, so it's, it's not a defect, it's working as designed, and I think it has a lot to do with the uh, ramp, you know, the, the power up, power down feature of the saber. Um, uh, just a lot of different things happening on this board that aren't happening over here on this board. So. Definitely um, really awesome. And uh, so I'm, I'm delighted with uh, I'm delighted with this. I got a, I got a free t-shirt. I also got a, uh, a um, I'm trying to think of the uh, initiate. I got the free initiate uh, saver. And uh, I will post pictures of that as well on um, my review on Saber Form. Uh, that was part of the spring raffle promotion, and I also got uh, a free blade plug here as well. This is the Ultra Sabers blade plug, so that came with the promotion as well. And uh, like I say, I'll post pictures here uh, in a bit. Thank you, and see you in the forum.